Hey, how's it going, man? I've got something out of this world to show you. This is a NASA space shuttle toilet seat. OK, we have a space toilet seat for a really, really small butt. Right. You need a good tight seal so there's no leakage. <laughs> Three, two, one. The actual design for the space shuttle toilet seat was designed in the 80s and redesigned after females became astronauts as well. I'm going to ask for $400 for the toilet seat, and the least I'm willing to take for it is 100 bucks. I think it would be really tough to use the bathroom in outer space. You'd either have to hold yourself down or maybe push from the ceiling, push yourself down onto the seat. Have you ever used it? No. <laughs> All right, and this is a picture of a space toilet. Yes. So how does this thing work? In space, there's no gravity, so you get strapped in with your feet, and then you've got stirrups that you can put over your legs to help hold you down to keep him from floating off. So theoretically, if a guy screwed up using this thing in space, there'd be floating space turrets. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know if it pushed it out into space? It does not push it out into space. It just gets collected. NASA geeks will pay money for just about anything associated with the space shuttle. But a toilet seat? <laughs> I guess there's a first time for everything. What's it made of? It's a polyurethane foam, and they coat it so you have zero outgassing in space. Zero outgassing. <laughs> that is a really politically correct word for fart and stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside, the thing's pretty unique and kind of cool. My big concern is I don't know what to pay for it because I have no idea what the toilet seat market is doing nowadays. <laughs> All right, how much do you want for it? 400 bucks. It does look awfully small for a toilet seat. You know what? I know a guy who will know about this. He okay. uh, runs an aerospace museum. So let me have someone tell me it's a real shovel seat, and uh, we'll go from there. Sounds good. Given the uniqueness of the item, I am not surprised that he would gather a second opinion. I'm 100% sure that it's an actual space shuttle toilet seat. We have a space... <laughs> <laughs> it's a NASA space shuttle toilet seat. All right. I have to ask, where the heck did you get this? Well, out of college, I took a job with okay. Sanderson Plumbing Products. Mm -hmm. One of the engineers that worked on this program offered this to me. It's interesting. In space, you have to have something that will seal under you. So it's a foam core that is then covered over with a vinyl so that when you sit down on it, it seals underneath you. And if you're in space, you don't want anything floating around if you're using the toilet. Okay. So has that ever happened? Um, actually, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things. There's just, you know, there, there's there's glory in space. Going to the bathroom ain't part of that. <laughs> you know, in fact, in order to design this, they had to go out and measure the backsides of all the astronauts. <laughs> OK. <laughs> that took care of one end. How was the other end taken care of? <laughs> well, surprisingly, the other end fits into a tube, and in the early days, you had basically sort of a condom end to it. I feel like I'm talking to my grandparents about sex. <laughs> <laughs> Same feeling. We tend to think of astronauts in space doing experiments and all the, the really exciting things, but you have to understand that they're also living in space. So when you think about what it meant just to make life bearable on the space shuttle, a toilet, was a huge step forward. So what's your concerns on this? I want to know, was it made for the shuttle, or is it like a prototype, or? Well, the ones that flew had a titanium insert on the underside of it. That was serial numbered. And the toilet seats were replaced every three flights. The fact that this one doesn't have it means that this one didn't fly. So seriously, Mark, do you think anybody out there actually collects these, or? Having met space collectors, they want anything. All right, thanks, man. Not a problem. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks I for appreciate letting me it. See you. Thank you. How much do you want for it again? 400 bucks. 
I'll give you 200 bucks for it. How about 400? I mean, this is my big problem. Someone's gonna think it's off a porta potty. Okay. <laughs> How about 300 bucks? Three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks. It's his money, man. <laughs> you own it. All right. Right up the seat. Come with me, man. I'm very happy with that. And I probably sold the toilet seat for more than a single toilet seat's ever sold.